Hi, welcome to our channel True Up. March 28th was a historic day for Huawei. On this day, Huawei held its 2021 annual report press conference. Compared with previous annual report conferences, this conference is very different. Why do I say this? There are two reasons. The first reason is the debut of Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou six months after returning to China. We all know that with the efforts of China, Meng Wanzhou returned to China in September last year, ending the three-month period. Years of litigation, which is also a welcome thing. The second reason is the first decline in Huawei's revenue in 2021, which Huawei warned at the end of last year. This also reflects the current situation Huawei is facing. Although Huawei has survived, it is still very difficult. So why did Huawei's revenue have the first negative growth? What is the income situation of Huawei's three main businesses? Can Huawei's chip problem be solved? Does Huawei still make cars? I think these questions will be answered through today's video. Why did Huawei's revenue experience its first negative growth? According to the report, Global sales revenue was 636.8 billion yuan, down 28.6% year-on-year, and net profit was 113.7 billion yuan, up 75.9% year-on-year. In terms of R&D investment, the R&D investment in 2021 will reach 142.7 billion yuan, accounting for 22.4% of the annual revenue and the accumulated R&D expenditure in 10 years will exceed 845 billion yuan. At the end of 2021, Huawei disclosed its overall revenue in 2021 in its New Year's speech. It is expected to achieve sales revenue of about 634 billion yuan for the whole year. From the actual data, the revenue in 2021 is slightly more optimistic than expected, but from the financial indicators of the past five years, the sales revenue in 2021 has dropped to a level similar to that in 2017. Regarding the decline in Huawei's overall revenue scale, Meng Wanzhou talked about three main reasons. One is that Huawei has been under continuous pressure on the continuity of the supply chain in the past three years, especially Huawei's mobile phone and PC businesses have been affected. A lot of pressure. Second, China's 5G construction has been basically completed in 2020, so the demand for 5G deployment in China has decreased significantly. The third is that Huawei, like Chinese companies around the world, is still under the same pressure during the epidemic. In 2021, what will be the revenue of Huawei's three main businesses? Specific to the three main businesses, in 2021, Huawei's operator business revenue will be 281.5 billion yuan, enterprise business revenue will be 102.4 billion yuan, and terminal business revenue will be 243.4 billion yuan. In general, operators are relatively stable, and enterprise business has grown rapidly. It is no surprise that consumer business has declined the most, which is only half of the previous year. In terms of revenue in several major regions, Huawei will encounter varying degrees of decline in 2021, of which China is the most obvious. It is worth mentioning that Huawei announced the revenue of Huawei Cloud for the first time. Huawei Cloud achieved sales revenue of 20.1 billion yuan in 2021, achieving a growth of 34%. How to solve the Huawei chip problem? Does Huawei still make cars? In Huawei, the keywords that have been mentioned in the past two years are chips and car building. In this annual report conference, these two points are still the focus of the media and the outside world. Regarding the supply of chips, Wu Ping said, chip research and development is a complex and long process that requires patience. In the context of globalization, the repeated development of technology has no commercial value. But in the situation of market segmentation and technology blockade, investment has new business value. We are happy to see more and more companies participate in the investment and are happy to see their success. So under the lack of core, how does Huawei maintain the competitiveness of its products? 
The answer given by Huawei is, reconstruction of theory and system architecture, that is, using area and stacking method to exchange performance, and using less advanced technology to ensure that future products are also competitive. Similarly, Huaping reiterated, Huawei does not build cars. It is reported that Huawei has built seven smart car solutions and has listed more than 30 smart car parts. Under the cooperation model of the new industrial division of labor, Huawei will adhere to the development strategy of platform and ecology. Huawei will further increase investment in ecology and accelerate the progress of intelligentization of the automotive industry with partners. Although Huawei has always insisted that it does not build cars, Huawei has never been absent from the automotive market. In a year of 2021, Huawei has reached cooperation with dozens of new energy vehicle manufacturers. On December 23, 2021, at the launch of Huawei's flagship new product in winter, Wenjing M5 will be the finale. This is also the first time that a car has appeared at a Huawei new product launch. New changes in Huawei's financial report in 2021. In addition to the regular data, the subtle changes presented in Huawei's 2021 financial report are also worthy of attention. First, and most obviously, Huawei's business organization chart has changed. Compared with before, Huawei has reduced Huawei University and information security in the group's functional platform. Energy status. Secondly, Run Zhengfei's shareholding ratio continued to decrease. As of December 31, 2021, Ren Zhengfei's total investment is equivalent to about 0.84% of the company's total share capital. It was 0.9% on the same day last year, about 1.04% on the same day in 2019, 1.14% on the same day in 2018, about 1.4% from 2012 to 2017, and 1.42% in 2009. Third, Huawei has previously stated that it will start charging royalties for 5G patents from 2021. It is estimated that the related revenue in the three years from 2019 to 2021 will be about 1.2 billion to 1.3 billion US dollars, or about 400 million US dollars per year. Since mobile phone manufacturers only started to launch 5G mobile phones in 2019, the 5G patent rate from 2019 to 2020 will be relatively small, so some analysts pointed out that in the future, Huawei will receive no less than 3.75 billion US dollars in patent fees every year. In short, regardless of the financial report data, in 2021, the Chinese New Year, Huawei has survived. However, as Kuoping said, the problems facing Huawei have not been completely resolved, and in 2022, we will continue to survive and develop. I predict that in the future, Huawei will reorganize the original industry into six major parts, connectivity, computing, terminals, smart car components, cloud services, and digital energy. As for whether this is true, please continue to follow us channel. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.